Hello and welcome friends. Today we will be continuing our discussion on the branch and bound strategy of designing algorithms. Uh, however, today we will be discussing a variant of that strategy which basically utilizes a least cost search to optimize its search. Now, as we have discussed in our earlier class, there are two strategies implementing branch and bound algorithm that would be the two different implementations of the bread first search which is either using a LIFO strategy or a FIFO strategy, wherein the FIFO strategy uses a queue whereas the LIFO strategy uses a stack. Now, both these techniques uh, select, uh, for example, if we, if we use a FIFO strategy, the next active node is chosen to be from the front of the queue. And if we are using the LIFO strategy, uh, the next active node would be taken from top of the stack. And this is always, this is rigid, it, it does not change any of these techniques, uh, either of these techniques does not give any preference to uh, a node in the queue or the stack uh, which has a higher chance of leading to the solution node. As you can see on the slide, we have seen that in both LIFO and FIFO branch and bound, the selection rule for the next active node is rigid or blind as, as I said that either it would be from the front of the queue or it would be from top of the stack and it is always the same. Now, this selection rule for the next active node does not give any preference to the node that has a very good chance of getting the search to the answer node quickly. So, none of these strategies gives any uh, preference to a node in the queue. However, the search for an answer node can often be shortened that is what least cost branch and bound is all about by using a ranking function uh, and this function would be based on the approximate cost C cap that we have already discussed. So, we can have many nodes uh, live nodes in, in the queue and we can have many live nodes in the stack in either of these to two techniques FIFO and LIFO. And in order to fast uh, to kind of um, speed up the search, we can choose one of the nodes from uh, that set which has a greater chance of leading the solution node and it is possible that node would be the one with the highest value or, or the best value for the cost approximate cost function C cap. So, in least cost branch and bound, the selection of the next active node is what makes it different from the others FIFO branch and bound and the, and the LIFO branch and bound. So, as you can see on the, on the slide here, the next active node is selected on the basis of a ranking function that is the node with the best approximate cost is selected. So, in this least cost search strategy, we are not using either a stack or a queue, we will simply use a list which maintains the list of active nodes and whenever we have to choose a new node as an active node. So, in least cost branch and bound, we do not need to maintain a stack or a queue, we simply need to maintain a list of live nodes. Okay. From those live nodes, we select an active node based on which of these nodes uh, have the best cost okay, the, or the least cost uh, considering this. Uh, um, approximate cost function. So, we will follow this idea on our earlier example that we tried to solve using a FIFO branch and bound strategy. So, the same set of uh, weights and the same set of profits. Okay. So, the weight of M or, or the size of the knapsack is 15 and uh, initially the upper uh, variable that we use to make our decisions or to try, uh, we use to bound our uh, search is initially infinity. Okay, for the root node again the parent again would be null, uh, approximate cost is 0 and uh, the, uh, the upper bound is 0, this is the lower bound, this is the upper bound. So, we generate its two children, okay, one is node number 2 and another one is node number 3 similar to the earlier case in case of FIFO branch and bound. So, the least cost for node number 2 is minus 38, the upper bound is minus 32, again for uh, the same for node number 3 minus 32 is the uh, lower bound and minus 27 is the upper bound. So, the best upper bound that we get is minus 32, so it will replace this variable upper here. So, we will save this minus 32 there and we will also add these two nodes number two, node number 2 and node number 3 to the to a list. So, okay, so this, this, is, this is not a queue, this is a list for this least cost search. So, next node that we need to choose to become active is not based on selecting the node at the head of the queue or from top of the stack, but we need to look at their approximate cost functions or approximate cost values. Now, the best uh, approximate cost is for node number 2 in this case which is 
uh, minus 38 which is which is the lowest cost. So, we will choose node number 2 to be the active node and expand its children. So, we are expanding the children we generate node number 4 and node number 5 in this case uh, node number 4 has the least cost or the, the, the lower bound equal to minus 38 the upper bound is minus 32 in for this node number 5 it is minus 36 and minus 22. Uh, the upper would not be changed because this is still the best upper bound that we have and we simply add node number 4 and node number 6 to the list here. Now, if had it been a FIFO branch and bound, we would obviously have selected node number 3 to be the uh, next active node because it would have been at the head of the queue. But since this is least cost branch and bound, we will have to choose, we will have to use the ranking function which of these nodes has the best chance of leading to a solution. So, uh, we look at their lower bounds and the best lower bound is for node number 4 not node number 5, not number, uh, node number 3, but it is node number 4. So, we will select node number 4 in this case and expand node number 4. So, obviously, uh, right now it is obvious that it would lead to the solution very fast. Uh, there are so many nodes which have not been generated in this case, which were generated in the FIFA branch and bound, which were which was discussed in the earlier class. Okay, if you compare the trees, for example, we are at level number 4. If we see when we are at level number 4 in FIFO branch and bound, more uh, nodes were generated and uh, for uh, this least cost branch and bound, relatively lesser number of nodes have been generated. It will be more clear when we reach the solution. So, we expand node number 4, we generate its children node number 6 and node number 7, uh, compute their lower bounds and upper bounds, similarly for this lower bound and upper bound in this case. And uh, as you can see, the node with the best upper bound is node number 7. So, this minus 38 is way really smaller than the current upper value. We will save this current upper value in this variable here. So, minus 38 is saved, so it is updated, upper upper variable is updated to minus 38 and we add node number 6 and node number 7 to the list of live nodes. Okay? So, now we have to choose uh, the, the new current node or the, or the active node. We cannot choose 3 directly because we are not following FIFO branch and bound, this is least cost branch and bound. We have to select that particular node which has the least approximate cost. So, as you can see we have to compare node number 6, node number 7, node number 5 and node number 3, but node number 6 and 7 are the two nodes which have the best approximate cost so far and we can choose any one of those. So, let us choose node number 7. So, we choose node number 7 and we generate uh, its children node number 8 and 9 and uh, this, this is the lower bound for node number 8 and this is the upper bound for node number 8. Similarly, this is the lower bound for node number 9, this is the lower upper bound for node number 20. So, just by looking at node number 9 as you can see that the lower bound for node number 9 is way greater than the current upper bound value. Okay? So, we will simply remove this node or we can simply kill this node. So, no, node number 9 is killed and node number 8 is added to the list of active nodes. Okay? So, candidates are node number 8, 6, 5 and 3 and by looking at the approximate costs of these nodes as you can see here we have uh, the best one would be node number 6 and node number 8. So, we have a choice to be made, we can either select node number 6 or we can select node number 8. L let us suppose we select node number 8. So, as soon as we select node number 8, we see that we are at level n plus 1. n here is the number of items. So, number of items e equals 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, we are level number 5 and the approximate cost is also equal to the upper. It means we are at the leaf node, the last node possible and the upper value is also equal to the least cost value. As soon as this happens, it means obviously that this is the solution node. So, in order to f display the solution now, we will simply traverse the parent node from this node. So, the 8's parent is node number 7, the parent of node number 7 is node number 4, the parent of node number 4 is node number 2 and the parent of node number 2 is node number 1 and the parent of node number 1 is null. Okay? So, this would be the solution that we have found by using the least cost uh, branch and bound or the least cost search. So, this is the solution node although we still have a couple of nodes in this live list, but we they can be discarded even though even if we follow them if, even if we generate their children we can simply see that none of them basically leads to a solution node. So, this is how we basically find a solution or display the final solution it would be the node that we is uh, chosen as the, uh, as the solution node we traverse via its um, parent links. So, node number 8's parent has been saved 
as node number 7 and its parent has this this basically is a node it's a, it's a structure uh, which i early, earlier discussed in the previous class okay so eight's parent would be 7 would be seven's parent is 4 and uh, finally 2 okay so this would be the final solution here okay and the best cost or the minimized cost that we get would be minus 38 so this is how we find solutions using the least cost branch and bound now as far as the algorithm for this least cost branch and found the, 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 the structure that I was talking about is this which we have also used in our earlier example. So, each node has, has a parent which is saved as soon as we generate the children. So, whenever a child is generated we link its parent to the uh, earlier active node. The only difference between this uh, least cost branch and bound and the FIFO uh, branch and bound would be that instead of simply taking the next active node from the front of the queue which would be using a dq function which uh, i discussed earlier in the earlier algorithm you had seen that for fifo branch and bound the function here would be dq which basically takes the front uh, the node at the front of the queue however in this case in case of least cost branch and bound this the next node would be the one which has the least approximate cost which can be implemented by you which can be taken as an assignment you can simply find or, or you can maintain now obviously it is important that you can maintain uh, your list of live nodes in the form of a heap uh, you can take the uh, node at the top of the heap then reheap and those functions have you have already discussed through, throughout this course you have uh, seen how to implement a heap and so on and so forth you can implement that uh, function and uh, also the when we add to the list of live nodes Okay, in case of uh, FIFO branch and bound, this test function used an NQ function here, which would add to the tail of the queue. But in this case, I have simply used an abs abstract function known as, called as add. Now, this add can be implemented by you, which basically uh, either implements uh, a heap or maybe a, a binary tree or an AVL tree or whatever data structure you want to use somehow which which optimizes your search of the best or the, the node with the with the least cost okay so you can implement this add function yourself which helps you select or add to the uh, add the new node to the list of live nodes and uh, this function here the least function uses that data structure to find the um, best particular node maybe if you are maintaining a heap then uh, it would be taking the top of the heap and then reheaping and uh, this function would be simply adding the node to the end of the heap and then again reheaping so you can implement these two functions yourself as an assignment and uh, this is similar to the fifo branch and bound except that we are uh, making decisions to select the best particular node from the set of live nodes so this is one of the optimizations that we can make to the uh, branch and bound algorithm this is the least cost search strategy which obviously tries to find this or get to the solution node much quicker than a fifo branch and bound or the uh, lifo branch and bound you can you can consider the, this as an assignment to implement the add node function and the uh, least node function similarly i have only shown you the algorithms for uh, fifo branch and bound you can implement an algorithm for lifo branch and bound as well which uses a stack Okay, uh, so uh, obviously it's not possible to display uh, or discuss all the all the algorithms. There is also not a s single way of implementing any of the techniques. You can you can design your own technique, but the only thing you need to note is how you implement the various uh, bounding functions. So, friends, this is it for today. So we have discussed the least cost branch and bound uh, strategy, which is obviously an optimization to the FIFO branch and bound or the LIFO branch and bound. <coughs> you can uh, as i said earlier you can uh, you can implement your uh, these uh, functions add function and the least function which basically may might implement a heap so uh, in the next class we'll be discussing another imp uh, example that will try to solve using this uh, branch and bound strategy and it is the traveling sal salesman uh, strategy and that would end this particular unit um, to that class goodbye